These are the three main tools that I use for damper work, probably 95 or more percent of the time. These wire bending pliers, I put a piece of tape on here so that I know which direction it's going to move, and that way I can do it without looking. I can tell which way the wire is going to bend. And notice that it has an offset here, and that's for upright pianos, so I can get around the, the bridle strap wire in uprights. That's what that hole is there for. Damper hook, that's what Steinway calls it. You can buy these in most supply houses, and of course my famous Duckbill pliers. Uh, I heard that Sears isn't selling these anymore, and then someone said, no, they still are. It's a different company, but I rounded these off. Don't forget that. Now let's look at some of the other tools that you're going to be using. First of all, get yourself a really good pair of scissors. Not the cheap scissors, but the kind that they cut hair with. Sometimes you might have to pay quite a bit of money to get those. I always try to have a little tiny screwdriver, and this is a homemade one that I made by just removing the tip off of a good screwdriver and gluing it into a small piece of wood. Parallel pliers are something that I always try to keep on hand, and they're really good for immobilizing parts so that you don't break the center pinning. Here's a very simple underlever jig that you can make, and I'll use it occasionally, but most of the time I like to use the tray itself. I don't like to carry a lot of extra tools that I don't need. Next is a simple string lifter that I made out of number 22 wire and a wooden dowel. I'll show you how to make those in another video. This is a simple little tool I made out of part of a damper wire. Cut it off and stuck it into a little dowel, and I can heat that up put it into the guide rail bushing and ease that bushing and enlarge it slightly. Next is a pair of dikes that I use. They're really dull and I use those to raise the wire out of the block for late dampers. It's something I use quite a bit but they're really dull. You can use your duckbill pliers but I like these dikes. They grip the wire better. Here are some other things that I'll use. A blade, a razor blade, some good bushing cloth. This is a bag clip I'll talk about later. A good ruler. And then the little tools on the right I'll show you in another video. As far as lubricants go, I only use Protec, CLP, and ProLube. And uh, there's some travel paper, an extra dampering, damper wire, and the pot there actually uses my hot hide glue pot. Here is a felt cutting tool that I use. It's just a homemade thing. You can see it has a lever, a spring, and a razor blade, uh, and it's adjustable. I've got little boards that I cut. Not very refined, but it's a good cutting tool I've used for years and years. There are several kinds of jigs to hold your dampers. The one I like, it centers on the jig and doesn't hurt the dampers. And it's really easy to make. Just take a look at that right there. It's easy to, to figure out how to do that one. The one I really like is the one Steinway has where they're upside down, and I don't have one of those to show you right here. And as I say many times in this book, carry extra felt. There's a lot of kinds of felt around there. This is just some loose stuff I had. But this is out of the Renner catalog, and this is my preference as far as felt goes. 